Welcome to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franti, where you get your daily dose of real estate market updates, and today's no different, Don. All right, so we're happy. You but, should be happy. And, but renters, not so much. Nah, you shouldn't be happy. In fact, if you've been renting all this time and not listening to Don and Gino, For shame on you. seven, eight years now we've been saying you need to buy? I looked at it. I'm going to throw out, you know, 110% uh, of all statistics are made up on the spot, just like that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the reality is, on average, based on a report I read the other day, if you would have acted in 2010 to 2012, you would have made 200 and some thousand per or 200 and some percent on your investment in California would have been 200 and some thousand dollars. Yeah, no doubt. So we got some fun, more fun facts regarding new renters out there going, oh, it's just cheaper and easier to rent. I don't have the down payment. There's options for you. We keep telling you that, but maybe you're not listening. Rates are some of the lowest we've seen in years and years in history. So now's the time, but we keep telling you. So we're going to show some facts on this fun little thing. I love this little homeowner's right? Yeah. They, oh, burp, burp, burp. All right, so this is a recent survey by Bank of America did this research. More than 80, let's see, this is basically a survey on uh, homeowners. More than 80, 80% 80 said they would, wouldn't go back to renting. Come Duh. in, I'm part of that 80%. Yeah, no doubt. 88% agree that buying a home is the best decision they have ever made. And we say that we've never given keys to someone and said, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Okay, and I would add something to that. If you do it in your 20s, it'd be 100% of people that agree it's the best thing they've ever done. Yeah, it's the best savings account there is. We always say that those who own a home have a net worth 46 times greater than someone that rents. Nice. So 79% believe owning a home has changed them for the better. And it does. It, it, it's a mental thing, too. Well, it does. It creates a sense, of, a sense of responsibility and accountability and pride. And uh, it helps you mature faster. I know you're watching this. I bought my first property when I was 22. And my wife thinks I still haven't matured. So maybe it didn't work. Uh, get, get, get on that. All right, let's go back to the screen. Here's some more fun facts. 67% of current homeowners believe their relationships with family and loved ones change for the better. Uh, of course, now you have a home to all conjugate and be together and be closer together. Plus, there's a confidence about owning your own home. 78% are satisfied with the quality of their social life. 82% of homeowners said they were satisfied with the amount of time they spend on their hobbies, passion, and all that stuff since purchasing the home, meaning your life doesn't go away. Everybody says, oh, I don't want to deal with the home. You deal with stuff as a renter, trust hey, me. Hey, and 75% of homeowners pursued new hobbies after buying a home. Yeah, that's like uh, working in the garage, working <laughs> on the kitchen, working in the yard. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's for you, barbecuing. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Actually, true story. Can for, you imagine barbecuing in an apartment? Well, no, but true story. I a very, very short amount of time I was renting. I rented for three years, okay? Because after the debacle, I had to rent for three years. But I rented for three years, and I actually started getting depressed because I couldn't have people over anymore because I had this tiny little backyard and barbecuing kind of got shut down. I just went through it. I yeah. just went through it, and I didn't like it. I had people over like twice. I'm used to having people over all the time. But when you're renting, it's not yeah. yours. It's just you can't make it yours. It's just different. All right, so let's go to the flip side. What about 50%? But here's the renters. Zillow did this research. 52% of renters regret not buying, being able to build equity. Duh. That's kind of a stupid kind of answer. I, Shouldn't it be 100%? I, I, I mean, what are the other ones saying? I don't care. Yeah. Maybe they just don't care. Maybe they don't care. 50% okay. <laughs> regret not being able to customize or improve their rentals. Okay. That was I my big that. thing. That, that was my big thing. I yeah. hated not being able to do stuff. 50% uh, regret that rent is so high. Well, you know why it's so high? Because you have to pay a mortgage, and you're paying my mortgage, so thank you for that. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate that with our <laughs> rentals. <laughs> um, and, of course, no privacy in the, in the outdoor space. That's so, what I was just talking about, yeah. right? It just felt like I was in this weird bubble, and you just had to be inside and uh, get a little cabin fever. So bottom line is... We keep telling you over and over. I mean, if you find renters that are happier not owning a home, I bet they're lying. Yeah, There's or, they're like just, home. or they just don't have a very stable life and they need or that they flexibility the and mobility. There's an effort to have to buy a home, but not as much as you think. You can put the plan together, talk to a, a, a direct lender that's responsible and known in your community. The online lenders aren't going to help you. I'm sorry. You could look at even maybe the banks. 
but a good lender will put a plan together, and before you know it, six months to a year, you're going to be a homeowner. I'm going to tell you one of the main objections. Well, I'm too young, and I don't know where I'm going to end up yet. My so credit. Fantastic. Leave that as an investment property when you move and go somewhere else. Start <laughs> building equity. There you go. All right. You're right here on the National Real Estate Cafe. You can get these sent to you daily by texting NREC to the number 58885. But the best way, go to donandgino.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channels. There's a lot of great information over the last nine years. That's right. We'd love to see you there. Please subscribe.